Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Yoshi, Kirby, Metroid, Pokemon. Tons of our favorite franchises are making their way to Nintendo Switch, but what about those forgotten series that deserve another chance? What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Gabe is here, and today we're counting down our top five forgotten franchises that need to make a comeback on Nintendo Switch. Yes, Nintendo does a very good job of having a steady rotation of their big mascots on their platforms, but some of these franchises have been gone for like almost a decade, sometimes more in a couple of these cases, and we, I think it's time for them to come back, and Switch is going to be hopefully the platform that makes it happen. Absolutely. Now, not all of these are first party, just going to put that out there, we are aware, but there's still franchises that we loved on Nintendo platforms. The first one, at number five, is Advance Wars, which is one of my favorite handheld experiences of all time. Yeah, really, really, really fun game from back in the GBA days. That's the one that I played. I know that there's other iterations, but I played the original one. Um, Zach, we have sales pulled up for some of these. It didn't do super well. 0 0.7 no. million in 2001 on Game Boy Advance. So I can see why it, it's been dormant for some time because even subsequent releases in the franchise they don't do super hot we have war groove coming up and hopefully that like scratches the itch a little bit but advanced wars were so so good absolutely and for me that's why i think it it sits at number five is because we do have war groove coming which is not a guaranteed home run but it looks to be awesome and it's capturing so much of the same vibe i really love the og advance wars i picked it up on a night there was a tornado watch my dad braved uh the storm and picked it up for me at target and i played it i was having a sleepover and it was a blast i also love dual strike on ds me and my brother played a ton of that head to head with two copies um and i enjoyed the the sequels advance wars 2 on game boy advance and advance wars days of ruin also on DS. Battalion Wars, to me, was a not-so-hot spinoff. Um, those released on GameCube and Wii. But yeah, it's interesting to see not a lot of sales from this franchise, and that's probably one of the reasons we haven't seen a return. They did re-release uh, the game for the Wii U on Virtual Console, but that's not the same as a brand new one, and I hope that Wargroove can capture the, the, the same feel of Advance Wars or just give it to us a whole new entry. Do you think we ever get one? I think if Wargroove is very successful, it could be enticing. Um, you know, I, it, it's it's hard to say. They, ha they haven't done it in so long, as you mentioned. It's been gone for, for a while, so why bring it back now? But hey, we're seeing comebacks from characters like Crash Bandicoot and rumored Spyro. Um, this, this team, Intelligent Systems, has been working on uh, Fire Emblem, as of late, they did Fire Emblem Warriors, and they're working on Fire Emblem for Switch. So they still are in the same genre uh, as Advance Wars. It, it could come back. It's a very talented group. You know, they've done WarioWare. Uh, they've done some of the Paper Mario. I mean, I think in general, this is the this is the squad, right? I want, I want a lot of their series to hit Switch. But let's move on to another series that I think would do really well uh, on the Switch and that I'd love to see. And that is the Brain Age slash Big Brain Academy kind of two-headed dragon. They're different franchises, but they both uh, promote the same style of gameplay, which is brain teasers and ways to maximize your speed um, and, I guess at some level, your intelligence. I don't know how much it actually does for your IQ, but these games were a whole lot of fun on DS. That's where I experienced Brain Age, Brain Age 2, and Big Brain Academy. Big Brain Academy was actually my favorite. It's a little more, a little more fun and charming. They also released uh, Big Brain Academy Wii Degree, obviously, for the Wii, and these games sold insanely well gave brain age on ds 20 million copies brain age 2 on ds 15 million copies big brain academy even 6.6 .6 mil on ds and 3.8 mil on the wii yeah those are like really strong numbers i'm surprised that we're not getting a brain age game uh you know soon that we know of it could still be coming who knows but the fit on switch is actually like still so good I, you can think of a ton of brain teasers to do with touchscreen and motion there's a lot they could do there Absolutely. It'd be a great portable experience. It's something that you could bring multiplayer into as well for some fun, uh, you know, split Joy-Con action. I just think it's a no-brainer. At the very least, bring back the old Brain Ages, and they they have a lot of, of content there. You know, they did um, a lot of DSiWare expansions. Again, I'm, I'm partial to Big Brain Academy, but I'd take either of these back in a second, whether as an eShop re-release or as a wholly new entry. But as you mentioned, so many features of the Switch could take fun advantage uh, of the brain teaser genre. Yeah, agreed. 
Moving on to number three is Punch-Out. What a classic. All the way back in the NES era, this was a gem then, and its most recent iteration on Wii was also a gem. I loved Punch-Out, and I loved Super Punch-Out, and I loved Punch-Out when it was on Wii. Arms has kind of like filled the gap in a little bit for Punch-Out just because I don't think that Punch-Out did really well, and we haven't had one since the Wii. We had a whole generation with the Wii U that we didn't really hear from Little Mac at all. So do you think that ARMS maybe kind of is taking this franchise's place? Yeah, it's very possible. Um, there's another game, an indie game, that obviously isn't replacing, um, but Pato Box looks really, really cool. It's an indie title uh, that channels Punch-Out with a little bit of Mad World vibe uh, based on the art style. But alas, um, you know, Little Mac still seems to be decently relevant. He was in the most recent Smash Brothers. And I don't know. I, I guess it's... Maybe Nintendo feels like they're 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 all tapped out, and Arms is kind of the evolution. Um, Your puns are great today. <laughs> I would be down for another Punch Out. I don't know that they can sell it as a standalone uh, sixty dollar game. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a downloadable one. Who knows? I think that could be cool. I mean, we just we just see so much issue being taken in with Arms, right? And the, the, the quote lack of content there, which I personally don't take a problem with. Um, but a lot of people were bothered by that, and, and you see that in the genre in general. Punch-Out is pretty, pretty cut and dry. I mean, I think it's a phenomenal experience. Um, this is one that, yeah, I would love to see a downloadable release, um, or even the Wii game re-release. I think it's so fun, and the mechanics are so sound. Even with motion control, I had a heck of a time playing the most recent entry. Yeah, 2009 was when the Wii version released, so we're getting towards that decade mark on this, so I, I don't know if we do get a full another punch out game but we'll have to see i think if we look at the franchises already discussed advanced wars is probably a 50 50 i really feel like brain age or big brain academy will make a comeback especially as the switch achieves more of a mainstream market share it just it just makes sense to bring that kind of brain training to the platform in in some fashion or another whether it's specifically brain age or specifically big brain academy i don't know but i, I think we definitely see that punch out i think they do bring him back i think the commitment to Lil mac is there and i think this is one of nintendo's uh beloved original franchises i think we do see that but gabe i'm curious if we, you think we see our number two game on the list which is the golden sun franchise an rpg i had a blast with in its initial iterations on game boy advance two games there and then a follow-up on ds a long while later plus a virtual console release of the original on wii u Yes, Reggie came out and said, hey, it's been like seven years, it's time for a new Golden Sun, and then he announced Dark Dawn. I am hoping something like that happens again. The originals were really, really good. I have like very fond memories of playing those like while waiting for the school bus on my <laughs> D, on my Game Boy Advance. Like It was so, so cool. It's a fantastic little um, franchise, and turn-based RPGs are kind of making a comeback. You see things like Lost Fear, I Am Setsuna. Um, yeah, they're a little bit more stylized. We have Project Octopath Traveler coming this year as well. It seems like a good time. Yeah, I feel like Golden Sun harnessed a a charm that, while not wholly original, kept it fresh. Um, I really love the battle system. I love the little uh, Dijini characters that you had uh, as sort of your pet slash summon helpers. Fantastic. Uh, these are these are tough for me to talk about because now I just want to go download it on Wii U. Another reason we need Virtual Console on Switch. But whether they come in the form of VC or a whole new entry, I think Golden Sun definitely belongs on Switch. I don't know how well it sells, and that makes me worried. Um, similar to Advance Wars, maybe the time has just passed on this franchise, and maybe, as you mentioned, Gabe, new JRPGs are kind of taking up the mantle in the same way that Wargroove looks to carry on the legacy of Advance Wars. But if it does come back, I would absolutely be on board day one for a Golden Sun Switch. Same. That leads us into our number one top franchise we want to make a comeback on Nintendo Switch. And it may be an oddball choice, but man, when this first hit, Trauma Center was a game that wrapped me up completely. Playing the role of Doctor with your stylus and the touchscreen was absolutely epic. And as the franchise continued, it got a little weirder, and it got a little wackier, and at some points it dipped in quality, but they brought it back, I felt, with Trauma Team on Wii. That's the latest entry uh, that we have seen releasing in 2010. Nothing since then, again, almost a decade without 
the trauma team without trauma center i feel like this would be fantastic on switch i know you don't have a stylus so i'm not sure exactly how you replicate that but they, they did it fine on the wii so i'm sure they can come up with something here as well yeah, this is a franchise that I don't have a ton of experience with, but I trust your opinion, and it looks cool just like seeing the gameplay, so I think I would be all for this if it were to happen. It's just so hard to go back and try to play some of these because they're not really available. Yeah, it's it's a gem of a franchise, I think, and, and maybe an underrated one. This one comes from Atlas, um, and they are comfortable uh, working with Nintendo, so I don't see why this could not happen. You know, it's, it's a dormant franchise across all platforms, um, but one that was very dedicated to Nintendo and therefore would, would find its fit perfectly on Nintendo Switch. Plus, it's kind of a, in a way, it's a hardcore, but in a way, it's mainstream, like being a doctor and, and saving patients, some really cool minigame mechanics. I felt like it was a very dexterous game that required a lot of skill. It's also very unique. There's nothing else quite like it. We've seen a lot of these types of games hit Steam and other platforms, but Switch is sorely lacking in the doctor department. So let's help our future doctors, and let's also have fun taking care of crazy non-existent diseases with a new trauma center for Nintendo Switch. That is our list, guys and girls. Advanced Wars, Brain Age slash Big Brain Academy, Punch Out, Golden Sun, and Trauma Center. Which of these five franchises would you be most pumped to see announced for Nintendo Switch? I hope all five of them come back. I don't know how likely Trauma Center is. I'm going to say 50-50, probably in the same vein as Golden Sun or Advance Wars. Honestly, Punch Out to Me uh, and Brain Age are probably the most likely to return. But give us your take in the comments down below and any franchises you think are sorely lacking from the current game space, and especially the Nintendo Switch, ones that you think would be a fantastic fit on the Happy Hybrid. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash the Switch Force. Link is always in the description. You can find us there for even more fun. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force... Out.